Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Excel 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to format dates and center data in cells. Let's go ahead and get started. So you'll see that I have a blank Excel workbook here, and on this workbook, I'm going to set up a few dates for you and show you some different things about how dates are input and formatted in Excel. So first off, I've made cell A1 active, and notice that you can tell the type of style that this text is uh, in our number group. So if you go over to the Home tab, number group, you're going to see right here it says general. If I were to type today's date in here, 8719, and press enter, you'll then see if I go back up here and click on the cell, that Excel noticed that this was a date and it changed it to the date format. Okay, This can be done with entire columns. So if I click on column A, okay, well before I do that, let's click on A2. Notice that one is still set to general. But if I click on column A, knowing that this is going to be a date column, I could actually go right here to date, click this drop down arrow, go down here, and choose a date. I'm going to choose short date. I click on that, and you'll see that date is now applied. And down here when I click on A2 now, it now says date up here. So it's looking for a date. Now this is really good because now I can type in tomorrow's date and press enter. And there we go, 8788. Dates are pretty good because you could also uh, highlight both of them, and if it's a pattern, Excel will recognize the pattern, and then you could use the autofill handle to actually drag those dates down, and it will repeat that pattern. If this ever happens on your spreadsheet where you have the number signs or the pound signs, you could just increase the column width or it auto fit by double clicking in between the two columns. I do that, and now I can see all of my information. Notice that the dates increased by one each time. Now one other thing that you could do is I'm going to click on my column. I'm going to choose the type of date format that I prefer. And I could go right up here to the Home tab, Number Group. And I could go right here to this Number Format. If I click this dialog box in the bottom right of the Number Group, it's going to open this up right here, which is the Format Cells dialog box. It knows that the cells are already formatted to be a date, but now it comes down to how we want it to be displayed. We could see right here, it'll actually include the day of the week. If I choose this one, it'll only include the day and or the month and the day for this one. And then down here, we could see the rest of them. Notice that it even gets as specific as to have individual ones with time also applied. So you can manually type in the time. You also have down here where it gives you another uh, type of format. So I'll choose this last one and click OK. And you'll now notice that all of them have changed. And if I go down here, and let's say I type in 722.19 and I press enter, it'll automatically update the new form, uh, format for the new cell even though I typed it in with numbers and slashes. I do recommend whenever you're typing in dates, if you're typing on a full-size keyboard, to use the number pad on the right side because you'll be faster typing in the dates. The last thing I'm going to show you how to do is center dates in a column. All you have to do is click on the column, go to the Home tab, Alignment Group, and you click Center. Usually you want dates to be centered so that uh, it doesn't get confused with the content on the left column or the right column. So hopefully this video has taught you a little bit more about how to set up and format your dates in Excel and how to center your data as well. If this video has been helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond to you. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.